Well, some people saw some showers this afternoon, Lake. Some of those showers putting down a lot of rain in a short period of time. We're going to talk a little more about that. The Doppler radar is showing, yes, those showers hit and miss across the region, but we do have some locally heavy rain making its way across parts of eastern Kentucky. That's where we will start with the heavier rain showers moving through parts of Harlan, Letcher, and Perry counties. This is a very slow moving cell moving off to the north and we'll be over toward uh, central parts of uh, Knott County and Perry County here shortly. This is actually putting down anywhere between a half inch to that little yellow stripe you see there. That's a Doppler radar estimating an inch of rain in a short period of time, actually in about an hour. For that reason, we do have a flood advisory that is in effect until 845 this evening for West Letcher County and Southeast Perry County. Again, that goes till 845. If you're going to be out traveling, there's going to be a lot of water on the roads and maybe some low-lying flooding. That's just uh, what the flood advisory is uh, indicating. So again, western parts of Letcher County, southeast Perry County, flood advisory until 845. And we also have another pretty healthy cell that is moving through Johnson County. We'll be approaching Paintsville up toward Flat Gap here within the next half hour or so. Rain cooled temperatures in some locations. Others, Williamson, 80 degrees, Logan at 80, 80 in Inez, 81 in Prestonsburg, down to 77 with a little rain shower moving through downtown Pikeville over the last hour. We're down to 72 in Dorton, 83 Whitesburg, and 77 current temperature in Sayersville. Officially, the high today went down in the record books, 84 degrees, the low 65. Again, above average for this time of the year. Now at the National Weather Service office in Jackson, only picking up one one hundredth of an inch of rain, but still below average for the month and still above average for the year. But boy, we're cutting into that this month. You may remember, uh, I think on May the 1st, we were about eight and a half inches above average for the month or for the year. We're down to 4.13 as of today. So we just keep cutting in to that surplus. The satellite and radar composite showing the showers and the thunderstorms moving through now. Most of our weather, or the disturbances, have been moving in from the Carolinas off the Atlantic coast. Notice not a lot going on there as of right now, so we should stay pretty nice for tomorrow. Pop-up shower possible, but this is our storm system to watch. This one will be approaching as we make our way into the day on Sunday, increasing the chance of showers and storms. As far as the pollen count is concerned, we'll take a look at that here in just a second. I'm actually going to show you the future radar and give you an idea of what to expect. Overnight tonight, the showers die down. Tomorrow, like I said, pop-up shower possible. But as you uh, will see, that rain shower increases as we head into western Kentucky, central Kentucky, and eventually into our area by early Sunday morning. Now to that all-important pollen count. Sponsored by Faith Pharmacy, Adams Plaza in Pikeville. 7.3 for tomorrow, which is in the high category. With a better chance of rain on Sunday, we drop to 4.3 in the moderate category. Oh, you know it's going to jump right back up, though, as we head into early next week, 6.3 by Monday. Seven-day forecast, 30% chance of rain tomorrow. Hazy, hot, and humid, 88 degrees, 82, 60% chance of rain on Sunday. By Monday, front moves through, 50% chance of rain. I think we stay dry Tuesday, Wednesday before the showers return Thursday into Friday. And if you want to check out another look at the forecast for tomorrow, you can check out the Appalachian News Express or the Mingo Messenger. Oh, okay. Tomorrow's edition. Okay, great. Well, I know my garden enjoyed the. I pop bet. Shower. I think a lot of folks are saying <laughs> the exact same thing. Thank goodness, a little rain. At last. Yes. Nicely.